Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and this is going to be a, just a quick discussion video on jimping. Uh, a lot of people, they'll look at a knife and uh, if it's going to be a tactical knife, one of the first things they'll look at is if it has jimping or not. And they'll make a little decision on the knife, uh, whether they want it or not, is if they have jimping. And some people will buy a knife and they'll uh, get a Dremel and they'll put their own jimping onto a knife or they'll put skateboard tape on it and there's nothing wrong with that. There's, I'm not arguing the fact that jimping doesn't provide traction, but um, I am going to argue the fact that it's probably not the most important factor you should consider uh, when you're uh, shopping for a tactical folding knife, or fixed blade for that matter. And it all has to do with handle design. If you have a properly designed handle, such as this Espada, which I remind you does not have any j jimping on it, Highly polished uh, aluminum and G10, no jimping on it whatsoever. But yet it stays uh, uh, quick in your hand. It's very, uh, it stays real tight. You can thrust with it. You can cut with it. Your hand is not going to move forward onto the blade at all. It's just impossible if you have a decent grip on the knife. And um, this is just a little demonstration I want to show you. Grab any knife you have and grab it with your fingers. I'm willing to bet that you can actually still make cuts with the knife, probably not very t uh, tough ones, and you can still probably thrust into a, a little bit of cardboard, uh, poke holes in it, with this grip. Only holding the knife with these four fingers, without your thumb. Now, try with the same knife, try gripping the blade without these four fingers. Does it work out too well? I guess you can pinch it like that. But I doubt you'll be able to do any walk holding it like that. You have more surface area right here, uh, gripping the blade. You have more muscles uh, gripping the knife with these four fingers than you do with your thumb. So a well-designed handle is paramount when uh, shopping for any tactical blade. And you can have different shaped handles and stuff as long as they have some kind of traction plan uh, or not even so much traction. This has no traction on it whatsoever. It's real smooth. Um, it's just how the uh, handle is designed and yet it is very strong in the hand. Another example. This has a little bit of jimping on the back but you'll notice when you put your thumb on it it really doesn't come into contact with your thumb. It's more on this um, I don't know what you would call it um, bone right here. But uh, your thumb's really not coming into contact with the jimping right here. But even though this jimping isn't really functional, you still got a good strong grip due to the finger cutout and the handle design. Another example. This has jimping on it, but my hand's nowhere near the jimping. I'm not going to move up on the blade because of the finger hole. It all has to do with the um, uh, handle design. Those are three examples right there. Neither of which has jimping or functional jimping, but still your hand's not going to move up on the blade due to the superior handle design. So I just wanted to make this quick video saying that um, uh, jimping does that, okay, it's not, should not be the determining factor on a blade. It should be the overall design and um, what else? I have one more thing to add. Hold the commander in your hand again. Okay, uh, I, I work a lot with my grip strength. Uh, I have these really super tough uh, hand grippers that are like the ones you get at like Walmart and sporting goods places, but they're uh, really heavy. And uh, I've noticed after watching a bunch of grip training videos and just working out with my hands, and uh, Austin, you kind of covered this a while ago, but your actual grip of your hands uh, your fingers and the muscles that link to the muscles in your flexor tendons are much stronger than the, uh, the muscles in your thumb. And when you're talking about the muscles in your thumb, that's what you're talking about. That's it. But when you're talking about the uh, fingers, you're going to go all the way to the flexor tendons in your arm. That's what controls grip. So, you know, uh, we're not talking about this, but if his flexor tendons were uh, slashed, he couldn't hold the knife anymore, which we don't want to drop the knife. But, uh, for example... Austin, he could probably pick up uh, well over 100 pounds with the uh, with the uh, the muscles and tendons 
of the flexor tendons and with the fingers. But on the other hand, uh, Austin, he would probably struggle trying to pick up uh, 50 pounds or even 20 pounds. It, it can be difficult depending on the handle if you're only using your thumb. And uh, if you're only using your thumb, you're kind of pinch gripping it like this as opposed to cupping your uh, fingers around a handle. So that's just the anatomy and how your hand works. Uh, your fingers, a grip with your fingers are just going to be stronger than uh, your thumb. Now you do need your thumb for support, but the flexor tendons uh, is where you get most of the strength in your grip. There you go, anatomy physiology lesson. Um, I'd, uh, I'd, that's about it. I, that's exactly what I wanted to say. Um, um, you can't have a pull handle design and have jimping fix the problem. If you're not going to be able to hang on to the blade without jimping, uh, then you're probably not going to be able to hang on to the ha handle with jimping as well. It all ha and plus, any high impact moves, as far as um, strong cutting task or hold cutting task, cutting through uh, wood or uh, thick rubber hoses or rope. All that jimping is going to tear up your thumb, and uh, it's going to be pretty uncomfortable to cut with. But that's it. I just want to make this uh, video. Thought it'd be an interesting talking point. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm a Satsu Five, and I'm out. Hey guys, this is Camo Kid and Austin. The Satsu Five is going to do a demonstration about how ergonomics is important when you're choosing a tactical knife, and uh, jimping really isn't all that important, although we like jimping sometimes, it's definitely not necessary. But this demonstration is going to show the difference between uh, your actual grip strength and your pinch strength with your thumb. The grip strength or support uh, strength is going to come from your fingers to your flexor tendons in your forearm, while the pinch strength uh, will involve the fingers, but it's mainly going to involve this big muscle that kind of looks like a uh, chicken leg on my uh, hand. So Austin is going to uh, pick up this 80 pound dumbbell. Without my thumb. Yeah, without his thumb. He doesn't need his thumb. And there we go. It's difficult, but it's, you know, very, it's very possible. And don't talk about my bad weightlifting habits. <laughs> and yeah, that's an 80 pound dumbbell. And now uh, we have this kettlebell over here, and it's uh, 35 pounds, and we have, uh, this is something I use to work out my thumbs, and all it is is a piece of uh, plywood and some parachute cord, and you grab it like this, and you use the muscle in your thumb to lift it up. So Austin, go ahead and try that for me real quick. Come on. What's the problem? Well, it's clearly not my strength. <laughs> I'm a He-Man. Now, uh... Maybe I need to watch Baywatch a little bit more. <laughs> now, pick it up with your fingers just to demonstrate that it is... Yeah, there we go. And uh, now, get, get out your commander real quick. Okay, and how this becomes useful is most of your grip when you're holding a knife, most of the strength is going to come from the fingers. <clears throat> so that's why he could pick up the 80 pound dumbbell so well is because most of his strength is right here. Now the thumb does come into play uh, for control, but it's not what's, it, that's not what's going to prevent you from uh, going forward on the blade. You're going to need some ergonomics uh, that help, uh, that are inclined with your uh, fingers from preventing your fingers on the blade and most of that comes from this choil right here. So uh, you definitely want a choil like that. Just like the Voyager. This is a good example as well. By the way, it has no jimping on it. No jimping. But my this is the uh, knife that's the most solid in my hand. I've never had a knife that's felt as good in my hand as this Voyager. But uh, basically that's the demonstration and I hope you got something out of it and I hope you could tell how most of your strength actually comes from your fingers and your flexor tendons and not your thumb. By the way, I want to say we have nothing against opposable thumbs. We're very grateful for them. I'm Satsu5, Kimokid1SS, and we're out.